You must be thinking about making a move to Riverside, Missouri. Well, you've come to the right place because I've put together a vlog video where I'm gonna take you all around Riverside and show you three homes at three different price ranges and show you exactly what you get, what kind of bang for your buck you can find in Riverside, Missouri. <music> Hi, I'm Max Jones. I'm with the Mojo Real Estate team and we are with Keller Williams and we are living in Kansas City and we help people like you move to Kansas City every day, 250 times a year and we have over 600 reviews online. Don't take our word for it. Hop on the Google, check us out online and see what our clients have to say about us. But thank you so much for being here. I'm going to take you around. I'm pulled up outside of uh, Bella Ridge where we are going to start with our first home and the first subdivision and it is a little sister subdivision, a maintenance provided community that is um, a sister subdivision to Montebella, which is just to, the, just to the south of us here on the hills of Riverside. And it is a community developed by uh, the Barths and they've, they've developed several communities in the, uh, in the Kansas City metro area and uh, are really well known, uh, well respected developers in the Northland. So I'm gonna hop out of the car, we're gonna take you and show you this first maintenance provided home, and then we're gonna go around and uh, look at two others. I'm also gonna take you to a couple, couple other spots in Riverside and really give you a taste on uh, what you can expect in Riverside and why you might wanna live here. If you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you my number one thing about Riverside that, uh, that I like, so make sure you hang around to the end and we will see you there, let's go. Okay, here we are. We are in Bella Ridge, and that is in Riverside, which is the whole topic of our vlog video today is Riverside, which is just in Platte County at the very southern tip, right down by the river, hence the name Riverside. And Bella Ridge is a, a new construction subdivision. You can see there's a, a vacant lot here um, next to me where you can um, contract a builder to build, to build the home to your specifications. But most of these homes are reverse ranches, uh, meaning that um, the master is on the main level and the secondary bedrooms are downstairs and it's all maintenance provided community. So the lawn care and snow removal are taken care of by the HOA. And um, we have this home here on my right. I'll turn around and show it to you. Uh, it's here. And it is a uh, three car garage. Of course, you can see the garage on the exterior, but uh, inside is a three bedroom, three bath, and it was built in 2022. And it is 2,100 square feet. They are asking 495,000, and it is a brand new home built by Inspired Homes. And uh, this whole community is like this. It's, uh, you know, not very big. Uh, home, so you get them at a pretty good value, um, price per square foot wise, and all of the maintenance is provided. So, you know, a lot of empty nesters are, um, you know, really good fit for them in this community, um, or people that just don't like to mess with the mess with the lawn care and want single level living. Um, some two car garages in the subdivision you'll see uh, walking around. Um, well, actually, very few. Most of them are three car garage. But yeah, this is our uh, this is our first home on the tour. Um, not much to say, uh, much more to say about it, um, other than um, kind of I wouldn't say your entry level price point for Riverside, but it is the least expensive home on our tour today. Uh, and Riverside, you'll kind of find has uh, either higher end homes, higher end housing, or lower end. Not a whole lot of median housing. It's a pretty small area, Riverside, not a huge population, um, but it is a really nice centrally located area, uh, good schools with Park Hill School District. So uh, there are a lot of pros and cons. We have a pros and cons video. Um, if you wanna check out our other video, and we'll also have a, we'll have a map video uh, to take you around and show you everywhere in Riverside. So make sure you check out those videos 
And with that being said, let's head over to the second home on the tour. Okay, now we are over at the Palisades, which is another Barth community. And I wanted to walk you out by this, uh, this fountain and waterfall because um, one of the things the Barths are known for in a lot of their communities are their really grand entrances uh, to the subdivision, which oftentimes include big rock formations and waterfalls and water features. And uh, this one's no different. It's actually one of the more charming ones. They've got some nice hills to work with. So uh, they got a little bridge, a bridge out here, turn you around um, with this huge waterfall uh, to greet you as you're coming into the subdivision. So um, there's also a big walking trail around the community. And um, in fact, there's even a, one of the homes you can see up on the hill there uh, is overlooking um, all of the, the Missouri River area down here. So the, the community is up on the hill and I'm gonna take you up there and show you the second home on the tour. Let's head up. Okay, we're up on the hill, not too far up the hill. And I misspoke slightly. We were coming into the main entrance for the Palisades and we are actually, this home that we're, is the second home on the tour is in Indian Hills. And it is just this home, this brick house right behind us here. And they are asking 599,000. It was actually, it's an older home. It was built in 1963. And uh, the Palisades is up on the hill. Um, it is a newer construction subdivision. So uh, this was um, not part of the Barth community after all, but uh, it joins it. And it is a, uh, only been on the market for four days. Um, it's kind of a unique home because it's a two-story, um, two-story home with a crawl space. And it is a four bedroom, four bath, two car home, and it is 2,800 square feet. Um, so it has this uh, big circle drive in the front with uh, an old retaining wall. Uh, they don't build them like that anymore. The ledgestone retaining wall and a big circle drive in front. And then the backyard will overlook the, uh, the new construction subdivision up there on the hill. This is a very unique home. The, actually, uh, most of the, the properties up on the hill of Indian Hills are a little less expensive than, uh, than this one is asking. This one is more in line price-wise with the, uh, the new construction homes built in the background there. Uh, so it'll be interesting to keep an eye on this one and and see where it ends up when it does find a buyer. But yeah, that's uh, the second home on the tour, and I will take you, I'll take you up the hill and give you a little drive-by of Indian Hills as well as the Palisades, so you can kind of see what I'm uh, what I'm talking about the difference. Um, but up on the hill in Indian Hills, you could probably find homes. I don't have one to show you on the tour. Um, as far as price wise, but they're probably in the, in the mid twos, low threes. Um, you might even find something in the, in the lower twos up on the hills there. So I'll take you up there, show you around a little bit, and then we will head to our third home on the tour. And don't forget um, to stick around for my number one thing about Riverside. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Okay, here we are at our third home on the vlog tour, and this one's gonna be interesting. Um, it is a new construction home, and it's not quite complete. And they, uh, it looks like the insulation guys are there now, and they're rocking some uh, music and having a good time in there. So you hear music in the background, that's what's going on. Um, but uh, this home is in the Palisades, and what it is known for is its scenic views overlooking downtown Kansas City. It's really a majestic view from up here on the hill. 
and um, so all of these homes will have a skyline view. And uh, this one here that we're looking at doesn't have a sidewalk in front of it yet. It's have an insulation installed, like I said, but it is four, gonna be 4,000 square feet. Um, it's got a finished walkout basement. Um, it is a ranch. It's a five bedroom, four bath, three car uh, garage, and it's gonna be a beautiful home. Um, originally planned to be priced at 928, and now they're at, uh, at 1.1. Um, so the, I don't know what's changed since they broke ground and had the initial pricing, but um, I know construction prices have been going up pretty dramatically. But yeah, this is, uh, this is another example of a reverse ranch. So you've got all of your main living stuff on the main level, your garage and your kitchen and your pantry and living room and everything. So you really don't have to go downstairs, but then in the finished basement, you have your secondary bedroom for your guests or your kids if they're still living in the house with you. Um, but I'm going to walk you up the street here. We've got another new one next door. I'm going to walk you up the street and see if I can give you a view, uh, an example of the view of, uh, of downtown Kansas City because it is really something. That's definitely the uh, main reason to be up here. And it looks like we're not quite on top of the hill. And there's some trees here in the background. So I'll try and get you another view. Um, it's hard to tell from where we are right now. I'll try and get you another view of the skyline so you can see, see what I mean. This is probably not the most ideal lot in the subdivision. There are some other lots and there's another phase on the back of the hill that sits even higher. This subdivision is a great place uh, for new construction. Not a ton of resale in here just because most of the homes were are relatively new. Um, this one that we're looking at is just being built, but a lot of these were just built in 2021, 2022, and here we are in 2023. So this is our third home on the vlog tour. Uh, I'm gonna take you down the hill to my number one thing about Riverside. Uh, there's a lot to like about Riverside. You know, you got Briarcliff Village and then the Lion Creek ta Trail. Um, it's a huge trail system that I'll show you, point out on the map video for you. But it, it finishes here in Riverside and goes all, I think it goes all the way to Smithville now, but it goes up to Zona Rosa and it's an awesome trail system. Uh, good parks and stuff here in Riverside. But my number one thing is coming up next, so let's go on down. Okay, here we are as promised. We're uh, at my number one most favorite thing about Riverside. And it's not much to look at, but um, it, is the, it is one of my favorite places. It's called ADA uh, Auction, it's Fundraising Auction Merchandise Source, but I just know them as ADA. And they're down here in this uh, business district of Riverside. And um, what I love about them is they um, are the place that the Royals and the Chiefs go to for all of their autograph signings. I don't know about all of their signings, but a lot of them will do signings with ADA. And what they're really generous with um, donations for fundraisers. And uh, we've come to them a few times for client appreciation events. And uh, they're really just great to work with. They open up their doors once a year, I think for a whole week, and um, it's where you can buy sports memorabilia, signed autograph memorabilia, um, and you can buy it at wholesale prices rather than paying retail. Uh, so it's just a great kind of secret little spot that I thought I would highlight in this video. Uh, there are other things I love about, uh, about Riverside, um, and I'm going to go over a few of those as, um, as I give you some of the some of the highlights, some of the notes, um, and uh, and things that you need to know about Riverside. So real quick here, uh, Riverside is 5.8 square miles. Uh, so kind of a small little area uh, at the southern tip of Platte County, right near the Missouri River. And they've got a population of only 4,000 folks, um, which represents 1,300 households. And uh, Riverside was incorporated in 1951. 
and it was originally known for a racetrack called uh, Pendergrass Track. And um, I guess Tom Pendergrass was like kind of a, a boss of Kansas City. And um, so he had uh, some probably not so legal uh, horse betting and dog racing. And then I guess it later became a car track down here in Riverside. Um, so, uh, you know, a little history about Riverside, but um, some of the entertainment things to do are, uh, there's, a, there's a River Roll Skate Center that I always used to go to as a kid um, for uh, after school, you know, skate parties and stuff. Um, there's another, uh, one of the bars down here is called the Runaway Lounge. I actually put myself through college. I used to work for a company called Sealomatic Paving Company that operates out of Riverside. And um, occasionally after, after work, we'd pop in the runaway for, uh, for a beer. And that's what it's uh, named after, is I believe that track was um, called Runaway, maybe. I know it was called Pendergrass Track, but somehow it had to do with the racetrack, I believe. Park Hill South Schools. So Park Hill South High School overlooks Riverside and it sits up on the hill. I'm gonna try and fly the helicopter drone so get some aerial views for you. Um, but Park Hill schools are super high rated, um, you know, right on par for, with Liberty and Blue Valley um, for as far as Kansas City goes. And Lakeview Middle School service Riverside. The student base, I believe is, well, the high school, is, it's 1,800 kids in high school. There's a really nice park called the E.H. Young Park, uh, Riverfront Park uh, in Riverside. And there's also a really great community center um, here in Riverside. The median income is pretty low. There are some uh, low income housing areas in Riverside. Median income is 42,700. And uh, grocery options uh, are Red X, and which is another one of my favorite spots about Riverside. The Red X is uh, really known for their um, cheap liquor, wine, beer, and cigarettes. Uh, so it is kind of a spot, like if I'm gonna buy a bunch of wine or something for a party keg or something, uh, Riverside is a great spot to do it. And right next door to Riverside, well, right next door to Old Riverside is a Larry's Nursery. And that is where my wife always loves to go right around Mother's Day to get all the flowers for our flower pots and stuff out in the, out in the front yard. So um, a couple of just really good spots, gems in Riverside, resources that I frequent all the time. Um, as far as restaurants go, you've got 99 Hops, Hops House. I believe that is part of Argosy Casino. And Argosy Casino is a great place to, well, to gamble for one, but they have a great buffet and really nice restaurants in Argosy Casino. And uh, as far as restaurants go, Briarcliff Village, I don't believe is actually in Riverside proper, um, in the city limits of Riverside. But when I think of Riverside, I think of Briarcliff, it sits up on the hill and you've got awesome restaurants up there. Peropos is fantastic. Um, Tres Omar Mare is uh, a great place with some outdoor seating that overlooks downtown, overlooks the skyline, and is a really good place to, um, I like to go there for brunch um, or you know for a lot of uh, lunch meetings for, for business. Uh, you've also got the Corner Cafe, which is a really awesome spot to come down and have breakfast. And there's a couple other things up there in, uh, there's a really nice, I think it's called the Barro, um, in Mexican joint up in uh, Briarcliff Village. It's chock full. Uh, check out the map video, I'll go into more detail about everything in Briarcliff Village. But in Riverside, you have uh, one thing that's unique about it is you have no Riverside city tax, which, um, you know, on your uh, personal property, on your real estate tax, on your sales tax, well, there might, there's gotta be sales tax, but there is no, there's no city tax for Riverside. Uh, for earnings, property, or real estate. Um, so that, that is, uh, they've kind of, are known for that. Uh, so that is another reason that stuff's a little bit less expensive here. Sales tax is only 8.11 and no earnings tax. So, you know, we mentioned this in a lot of our videos, but uh, Kansas City has a, Kansas City, Missouri has an earnings tax of 1% based on your gross income. 
And so everybody's trying to either not work or not live in uh, Kansas City, um, Kansas City, Missouri, that is, because um, they don't want to get nailed for that tax. So being in Riverside, you're not subject to that. And uh, median housing for the city is 245,000 with median rent being 797. Um, about an even split with rent to own. Um, so 58% people rent, 42% own. And crime is rated as a C plus. So I would, uh, it is kind of a little bit of an industrial area. Um, not, you know, there's some really nice homes up on the hill uh, really nice subdivisions, but the you know the area is um, relative to the other areas in the Northland. It probably isn't the best. It's kind of industrial and commercial, um, with pockets of really nice subdivisions and then pockets of fairly low-income housing. And you know you got Argosy Casino I mentioned. Uh, other major employers in the area. Uh, are um, lots of a lot there is it is fairly industrial so there's lots of electrical companies um, heating and air companies uh, auto parts manufacturers industrial supply companies rail services uh, that uh, sealomatic paving company that i mentioned it it operates out of riverside and um, so lots of employers lots of employment in riverside but um, but that does does it for the fun facts about riverside we're just out here at a, um, in front of ADA and um, they are only open by appointment only, so I won't be able to go in there. But uh, this does it for the Riverside video. I'm gonna wrap up and um, make sure you check out the map or the blog video if you're thinking about moving to Riverside or just wanna know more about it. Um, feel free to drop a comment. Who knows, maybe you live in Riverside and you feel like I totally blew this video and missed the most important thing about Riverside. So um, if you, uh, want to drop a comment about that in the in the video would love to hear from you too this is not meant to be a comprehensive video necessarily it's really just a taste uh, of what you might want to know about riverside if you want to dig into the details and ask specific questions just hit us up we've got our number down below uh, you can like and subscribe you know subscribe to the channel like the video and that will keep you up to date on our future videos whenever we uh, have one that comes out you'll be notified and uh, and that's all so thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one